Hey, welcome to Think Creative TV. My name is Matt Pullen and I am your host for all things iPad in the classroom. Please, if you haven't already subscribed, tap on the subscribe button here and you can get up to date information on all of my new videos. Let's get stuck into one now. So in this video, we're gonna take a very quick look at how we can use numbers to help scaffold learning for our students. Now, this might be a really, really good way to embrace blended learning approaches, but it also means that you can be there with your students to really support them with some of the complex understanding of how you go about something. So for this example, we're gonna look at a maths demonstration, but obviously you could use this for anything. So let's jump into numbers uh, to get started. This is numbers here, the green app. And I've already created a document here and I'll go through the process of how you would put this together. Um, and it's really, really simple, but it also shows off the power of numbers as a tool a little bit more than just being a spreadsheet creator. So I'm gonna jump into this document. And the first thing you'll notice is it's not a spreadsheet, okay? It's got the complexities of a spreadsheet. It's got the tabs across the top. Um, I can add in uh, equations, etc. cetera. Um, I can have tables, but actually what I've done here is I've deleted everything because I just wanna use this as a blank template. Now, um, if you are on Twitter and you follow the likes of Kurt Kleinen, um, he will he will go into the depths of the design behind these, strongly urge you to, to take a look at some of his work. But I just wanted to kind of just highlight the, the why you would use this with your students. So page one, um, you'll see that I've just highlighted in a tab at the top, this is the introduction. And in the introduction, I've included a video, which is the how to just get started with algebra. Now that video could be absolutely anything that you want to add in. It could be something about the water cycle in science. It could be understanding uh, the formation of a sentence. Um, it could be learning your ABCs. It could be how to use a pencil in art to, to create shading. It could be absolutely anything. And then before you move on from this point, I thought something that was really quite nice is to just say, before you go any further, what are your thoughts at this point now? So just to engage the students at this point. Now, I've got an Apple Pencil, so if I was to do this as a learner, um, I could say, uh, I don't understand it, whatever it might be. You know, and you can just instantly kind of just put out your ideas, or you might have some questions. Um, why letters? Because this is on equations. Uh, algebra, sorry. So... That just adds that in. Um, that's just my initial thoughts before I go into anything, because this is the point where potentially if you're at home with mum, dad, whoever it might be supporting you, after the student has watched the video, these are questions that you could potentially um, you know, answer before they even go on to the next part, which which is going to be the, the trying to use and solve some of the algebra. So before they get really stuck, you can unpick what they feel is an issue at this point. The next thing you might notice is I've got three sections here, all denoted by the chili peppers. Now, if you're familiar with the chili challenge approach to differentiation, the idea is that I'm not going to tell a student that you're going to start on the hardest one or the easiest one. It's their choice. OK, if you feel you, you want to go for it today, then, you know, go for it. Click on tab number two, go for the two level chili. Um, we're not saying it's about... Um, me dictating to the students what level they're at it's about students wanting to embrace the challenge and the more they embrace the challenge the more they they don't put a ceiling on their own um, ability but i'm not going to go too deep into differentiation at this point okay so let's take a look at how i would just set this up then so i haven't added in any questions or, or issues here but basically on this side of the page i would have a set of questions and over on this page just some scaffolding to support them um, if you're familiar with teaching anything around algebra the idea of balancing things you know whatever I do to this side I have to do to this side can just help students do it again if I said that the question here was 2a equals 5 uh, they could set that up on their scales um, and they could start to work it out okay so they could start to think about okay so if that's balanced what does that mean um, same if I said 2a plus 4 equals 9 uh, you know they could then put those figures on their scales and again just using this um, and the power of the, the iPad and the pencil really work well together um, or a stylus you can do exactly the same with a stylus so here I need to say well if it's plus four I'm going to minus the four 
which means I need to minus the 4 on this side, so whatever I do has to be balanced, so that turns that to 5. I can get rid of all of this, so now it's 2a equals 5. Okay, so there we go, we can you could use that to help us solve the problems. Like we said, different levels of development, so you just increase maybe the challenge which is going to be on each one. And then this kind of is, is the key thing for me. Maths is more than just being able to answer the questions, it's being able to understand it. So I've kind of reverted this all the way back to this start page where you watch the video that I've created. But the last tab is actually create your own video. So if you were going to teach this to somebody else, if you were going to teach them how to do algebra, the basics of algebra, what the water cycle is, whatever it might be that you're using this for, can you make your own video to show that and how would you explain it? And then that becomes a really, really key piece of evidence for the teacher because now I can see if they fully understand something. Because if you can teach it to somebody else, you have to really have a good grasp and understanding of the process for yourself. So this is where actually from the teacher, marking their work in here gives you one aspect of how well they've achieved it. But actually being able to listen to them explain the process is probably a, shows a lot deeper understanding. And all of this packaged really, really nicely within numbers as this uh, support system includes the video. If I get stuck, I can go back. I can watch the video as many times as I like. I can answer the questions. I could challenge myself. And then I have a further opportunity to uh, develop and demonstrate my knowledge and understanding. So there we go, that's numbers as a really, really simple package for scaffolding learning, embracing challenge for students, and trying to understand a deeper element of their understanding of a problem.